What's going on, guys? Girls, Diamond Research are here, and welcome to another video. Today we are going to be seeing the Dungeon Pokemon I want to see in Sun and Moon. So without further ado, let's get into it. Number ten. I don't know where that the what it says is, but it's a koala. So, um, I I am surprised they haven't done, done this like most of these on the on the, here. I really like this and how it looks. Um, I really like this line. It's kind of like a Snorlax. And I can see it getting moves like rest, uh, stockpile, and stuff like that. Number nine, a dolphin. Of course, this was going to be on the list, guys. It's on everyone's list. And I really like this dolphin Pokemon. It's really cute, and it's just so awesome when it gets to its final evolution stage. But if there was a dolphin Pokemon, I would like it to be a three-stage evolution. Now, I know... Okay, I know um, Kyogre is based off of an orca, which scientifically is a dolphin. But it's not dolphin enough for me. We, we need a dolphin. Number eight, a platypus. Now this I am really surprised they haven't done, cause this is a living Pokemon, water poison type. Like this is, this is just a, this is a, a platypus is literally a Pokemon. But I really do like these, uh, these platypus Pokemon. They look really nice, and I especially like the final stage evolution. Um, and yeah. I think it's really cool. Number seven, a white tiger. Now, we, I don't know if we have a tiger Pokemon or, I, I don't know. I, Arcanine, I guess is a tiger, but I want a white tiger. White tigers are awesome. I, I don't know. I really like white tigers and I think they could do a really cool job. Um, once again, I'd love, uh, I really like this um, depiction of it, but I think if there was going to be a white tiger Pokemon, I like it to be a three stage evolution. Uh, just like a lot of these on this list, so the Pokemon that we want are could be like the hype could be real for them. It's a three stage evolution and you could really evolve them. So, number six, a lemur. Lemurs are awesome, guys. You know that, I know that, we all know that. Lemurs are cool. They're awesome. Uh, what would make lemurs even more awesome? A Pokemon out of them. This is a really cool lemur-like Pokemon. I don't know why it gets green when it evolves, but I like it. A green is one of my favorite colors. I don't know how I feel about it on a lemur. But basically, it's because Sapphire's my favorite Pokemon. So, oh, I like the idea of grass fighting. Oh, now I see why it's green. It's grass fighting and the normal fight. I would really like that maybe as an early route Pokemon. Well, no, 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 not an early route Pokemon. So if there's a normal gym, maybe a later route Pokemon, like maybe after the first gym. Number five, a narwhal. Once again, I'm surprised I haven't done this, because this is literally a Pokemon in real life. So, it's awesome. It's really cool. We have Glow Ice. I'm not going to say the names, but uh, Water Ice. I mean, that's awesome. Um, This is awesome and cool, and I really like the final evolution. I don't know. There's just something about it that just makes it so appealing to me. I don't know if it's because it's just so smooth. I think it's the face I really like. And it's just so smooth. One time I made uh one time I made a uh a um uh narwhal Pokemon. It started out as a normal narwhal and then when it as it evolves it gets the it's horn as like a sword. I think that'd be cool. But I really like 
but there's something about this I just really like. Number four, a peacock. Now, this is cool. It could uh, easily be an evolution for Chaton. And I and these I really like how this was. I really like this peacock Pokemon. This is really cool. Uh, and it's it could be a psychic flying type, which I think is a really cool typing. So, and then when it evolves, it's awesome. Like, I'll have that on my team, guys. Just give me a psychic flying peacock, and I'll have it. Even if it's the, uh, if it's the evolution of Chatot, I'll get a Chatot, and I'll use it. Number three, a goblin shark. A lot of you probably don't know what this is, but it is a really cool shark that looks like a goblin it is kind of disgusting but it's like a pink shark and it has like a really long snout but i really like these it could it could be a ghost water type and i don't think we've ever seen that type before but if i'm mistaken please no rotom rotom i think uh but rotom wash uh but i but anyway i really do like this uh but because I don't think we've seen this water much before, and this is really cool. I really like the final evolution. It's the most goblin shark out of any of these because of the snout. But it's really cool. I didn't even notice that that was a pokeball, but that's really cool. And I think they make an awesome Pokemon. Number two, a hummingbird. Once again, surprised we haven't done that because it's such an awesome animal. But. These are really cool, and uh, you'll see that the types are really cool, too. So, first we have uh, this hummingbird here, a flying type, and then when it evolves, it's flying fairy. I mean, I, I, I don't know what about, what's about it, but flying fairy just seems like such a good type for a hummingbird. I don't know why though. It just seems like such like like flying fairy like but number one a blobfish. A lot half of you watching these videos have no idea what the heck a blobfish is. The other half, you're cool. No, uh you're still cool if you don't know what a blobfish is, but now you're gonna be even cooler because you know what a blobfish is. It's literally a blob in the ocean. It's a blobfish. It's it's pretty self-explanatory uh, for you that it's for you. And I'm just saying this for you that don't know what a blobfish is. It's literally a blob. I'm gonna find a picture and I'll I'll put it in one of my videos. But it has no bones or no muscles. I don't think. And it's just a blob. And I don't know how that thing exists because. I, I don't know how that thing can survive, and I think it's a mis- I think not even scientists know much about it, and, uh, blobfishes- blob- blobfish are awesome, so, I think if you had a blobfish Pokemon, that'd just make them so awesome, and I'd use it, no matter what the stats were, no matter what, I'd use a blobfish Pokemon. I really like this idea. It's not. It doesn't look like a blobfish, but it's cool. But this stage really does look like a blobfish. I don't know if you can see that. Just think of that thing, except it's completely pink, or like, yeah, pink, pretty much. Uh, I'll find a picture and put it in my next video. And I really think it's a cool Pokemon. Um, I think, I think instead of just a water, of uh, water type, it's a blob, so water poison would make sense. I don't know what is about blobfish, but I love them. They're they're awesome. I I think it's just so cool that they're literally blobs. It looks like something, and it just looks like something out of my demented imagination, and. I, cause I, I just think of random things and just draw it on paper, and then it's just weird and demented, and that and a blobfish really looks like something I would draw. 
It just looks so derpy, and I like it. It's just awesome, and I want a Pokemon out of it. I don't know, I'm rambling about how cool Blobfish are, but um, I'll put a picture of it in my next video for you, too lazy, to um, uh, look up it up for yourself. And if you're lazy, I, I know how you feel, I'm lazy too. But, yeah guys, I will, um, yeah, uh, but that's the end of the video, and Blobfish, start the hashtag on social media, start it, on, start it everywhere, start saying hashtag Blobfish. If you like this video, comment down below, hashtag Blobfish. See you later, bye.